Before we get into it, man, do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bell so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. But let's get into this, man. Don't come to Philly. I don't want to come to Philly. I don't never want to see Philly. Y'all can stick Philly up your ass. The people in Philly don't want to live in Philly. What you talking about? Y'all let Gilly and Wallow down. And the best thing that y'all can do is point the finger at me, because y'all think that young boy. Philly. Do you think Gilly gonna let his other son go back to Philly? Before this reaction, man, I just wanna say rest in peace to YNG Cheese and condolences to Gilly the Kid, uh, Wallo and the whole family. Get what I'm saying? Cause this is really a crazy situation. But right here we have, you know, Gilly the Kid allegedly going off on Hassan Campbell, man. Like, uh, this is a very crazy situation. You all should probably go check out the video that um, Hassan Campbell dropped on his YouTube channel talking about this situation. You get what I'm saying? Uh, though the, so many of you all might seem not to agree with what Hassan Campbell always say, but in some situation, man, we have to think about it in two different ways. You get what I'm saying? So Hassan Campbell dropped a video talking about Gilly the Key's son losing his life in Philly. Get what I'm saying? And he made a lot of points on the video where he was talking about it because, you know, when you think about it, you realize that Gilly the Kid tried his best, you get what I'm saying, to get out of the street, came up as a businessman, built one of the, you know, built one of the biggest podcasts uh, in the culture right now. You get what I'm saying? So he did something for himself. You feel me so but i don't feel like his past have to affect his kids i don't believe in that man i believe in like whatever our parents did and whatever our grandparents did man let them die with it you get what i'm saying if you got problem with my pops and uh, you feel like you can't get to my pops and you want to get to me that is some weak ass ish to do, man. That is, that is some weak thing to do. You get what I'm saying? I don't feel like if you have problem with my pops, you should come to me and kind of try to get at me so that you can get at my pops. So, you know, what's on the street saying that all the situation going on, Gilly the Kid ain't happy with Hassan Campbell. You get what I'm saying? Because Hassan Campbell said a lot of things a lot of awful things anyways you get what i'm saying to gilly the kid which i think is a very sensitive time for him to say the things he said you feel me it's a very sensitive time for him to start you know pointing blaming fingers and stuff like that and this is one crazy thing about youtubers man you know we all get it we all get ourselves into this same you know into the, into the same mistake you get what i'm saying where we come up make videos you know clickbait all this title just to get views blame who we need to blame just to get our voice heard and stuff like that i think it's crazy you get what i'm saying but i think we should start doing that you know more diplomatically you know we should start considering people as well you know looking at them like they are human too you feel me so hassan campbell coming up to you know blame gilly the kid blame his past and stuff like that yeah we know gilly the kid right now motivates the youth gilly the kid right now looks out for the youth especially in philly because if you kind of noticed what happened it was about two weeks after gilly the kid made a video posted on instagram kind of condemned the whole you know the whole violence that is going on in philly after two weeks you know his son got hit up you feel me so it's really crazy for real it's really crazy i don't think gilly the kid has nothing to do about has nothing to do with this you get what i'm saying i don't think gilly the kid has nothing to do with this and that's why i don't like these gangsters man you know these gangsters laugh all that stuff man i don't like it i don't glorify it i, I i'm not i'm not in support of it because just imagine uh let's assume that this person who killed Gilly the Kid's son, right? YNG Cheese, actually was trying to get at Gilly the Kid. You get what I'm saying? But couldn't get to him. And he decided because of his success, or uh, because Gilly the Kid, million dollar worth of game, right? Got it getting that hundred million dollars and stuff like that. 
and we all seen on seen it on social media and that's one crazy thing about social media man social media is so crazy that's why you don't have to share your sources most of the times because the more people celebrate you the more enemies you make you get what i'm saying that that's one crazy thing you get what i'm saying about social media you know you can feel like people are celebrating you people are rocking with you man you don't know that a lot more people out there are planning against you plotting against you, you feel me so if this person was looking at what Gilly the Kid said about Philly, about, you know, ninjas in the street, killing other ninjas in the street in Philly and stuff like that, and the person decided to get a Gilly son, it's crazy, man. That's some weak thing to do. You feel me? That means that, you know, the person is, is really crazy. Because, you know, I see some so many gangsters that, you know, pull up their gun to go, you know, shoot people, kill people, and do all those crazy stuff i see them as crazy man like you know their mind ain't right their mind ain't right man you don't have the right to take away somebody's life and think that you can go free i always say this those are key back gone, die back gone. so listen up man gilly the kid ain't happy with hassan campbell man for for coming up blaming him and stuff like that you know blaming his past as a gangster rapper and all that stuff that he has done in the past you know using it to kind of you know to kind of make a sense out of out of no sense you get what i'm saying Gilly the kid ain't happy with that so Gilly the kid goes off on him was on the street saying that you know Gilly the kid said when he get back on social media man he's going to make a proper a proper speech on social media he's going to speak on it because it's actually a crazy situation right now you feel me it's really crazy you all can think about it i don't want to i don't want to go about blaming people especially a parent man gilly the kid is a father he lost his son and listen up man his grown-up son who who is already a grown-up man 25 years so you watch your son grow you make all this investment you make sure they are good you get what i'm saying you make sure that you look out for them and stuff like that and at the end of the day man they die remember no parents is happy to bury their kids you know it should be the other way around kids burying their parents so i don't support the the situation of people coming out to blame gilly the kid or blame his past trying to connect it with what happened to his son right now man it's really crazy and if you're in the street watching this video man i i will tell you get out of the street man because you know the street ain't doing us no good it's destroying lives it's destroying properties it's destroying the leaders of tomorrow so nothing good about the street for real you get what i'm saying but you all go ahead and share your opinions under the comment section Tell me what you all think. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. Catch you guys later, man.